Ooh, I just got hey, hey. That's one. Hi, Fred. Hi. Hello. Hey. Hello. Howdy, gamer. Hello, hello. Ah, so today's gonna be a chill session. We're doing a mm -hmm. we're we're doing a downtime session. What does that mean? That means we're gonna be doing level ups uh, with everyone. Uh, give you guys the opportunity to make some some purchases. Um, kind of go over everything that has happened uh, from the last session. Any rewards you guys may have gathered, uh, and kind of talk about what the next plan is. What the party's gonna be doing next. There's plenty of opportunities and quests all around you. Um, and kind of see where you guys are at and what di what direction you guys would like to take your party today. Uh, first thing we're going to do, we've just completed a long rest. Um, is anyone else? Do you guys want to stay disguised as red brands? No. <laughs> All right. No. Nah. You, you get you get that's rid funny, of, but no. Nah. I'm going to get rid of the stinky, the stinky outfit. Understood. Uh, yeah, last session, you guys snuck into the red brand hideout, uh, managed to arrest that son of a bitch glass staff, which ended up being Yarno, uh, former member of the Lord's Alliance. Sildar was not having any of it. Veldrin was also not having any of it. Uh, mm -hmm. you guys made a new friend. It was a Nothic. He had one eye and talked into your brain a lot and said a bunch of weird and creepy shit. Love you, that guy. you managed to sneak on by him only to come back and murder him uh not in his sleep but that would have been funny uh <laughs> and stole all his treasure <laughs> uh you also uh managed to rescue uh who was imprisoned by the red brands uh mirna dendrar along with her, uh her daughter and son her husband, as you had discovered, uh, were murdered by the Red Brands. In fact, you all had not discovered it, but Myrna told, tells you, as you kind of rescue her and her family out from here, um, about how those uh, violent Red Brands apparently uh, threw the corpse of her husband in the crevice that you guys were in. Ah. Uh... Yeah, but you saw the treasure chest. That's all you cared about, so you just grabbed that and ran. So, yeah, his... Uh, his uh his body is chewed up and eaten down there because the Nothic was uh having some nom noms. And now you uh you killed you kicked that uh Nothic down in the, the, the crevice as well, correct? Yeah, we threw his body in there in the pit. Yeah. <sighs> Fuck yeah you did. <laughs> Fuck yeah you did. Alright. But you guys went in, cleared out some red brands, uh you rescued uh not rescued, uh you captured glass staff. Uh, and even after the next day, after you all take your long rest, uh, you with for those for those that have like continued their explanation uh, exploration within the Red Brand hideout, uh, we'll see it mostly abandoned. Apparently, the Red Brands got quick word of their leader uh, being captured, along with the majority of the Red Brands, uh, murdered in cold blood. I think uh, Crown explained it best as the Red Brands were sort of exploring all around their headquarters. <laughs> like, has anyone seen Glassstaff? You know, just finding <laughs> corpses scattered all around barrels and shit like that. <laughs> And they're just like, yeah, I think the gravy train's done. We're gonna go. We're gonna get out of here. So they've uh, they've all have left town. <laughs> a fucking murderer Wise keeps showing up to our keep, killing our people, <laughs> and then leaving. Yeah, they're uh, they bounce. So um, today is a day, uh, a good day for Fandolin, uh, as the the red brand menace uh, now gone. Uh, the sleeping giant, which is an old tavern over here. Uh, was run by a gruff dwarven woman by the name of Grista, who catered uh, primarily to the red uh, bread brand threat. Uh, she is also gone, and this tavern the, of the Sleeping Giant now remains uh, abandoned. Uh, it is an empty uh, shell of what it once was. So, uh, all in all, things are going things are going okay with Fandolin. Um, makeshift prison where Glassstaff currently is. Uh, Harbin, he was kind of snoozing in the town master's house, sleeping in his own house right now. And, uh, and yeah. One of the, uh, last things that Myrna brought up, uh, was, uh, that they were 
uh, probably going to be departing from Fandolin over the next few days with her husband uh, brutally murdered and the home that she once knew, aka Thunder Tree, being overrun by undead. Uh, she believes it would be best for her and her family to leave the Sword Coast and hopefully go someplace safer. However, there was one thing that she regretted, uh, and that was that they left a family heirloom back in Thunder Tree, uh, where she would ask that if you were to ever go to Thunder Tree and find this heirloom, she will remain in town with her family for a few days. Uh, to Toblin Stonehill uh, will graciously allow her and her family to stay within the Stonehill Inn for free uh, after all the horrible things that happened to this family um, and she would be willing to uh, part with some of her saved up gold if that heirloom was ever uh, was ever returned. In addition uh, Sildar has been doing a little bit of snooping of his own. See he has a great interest in finding the Kragmaw Castle because the Kragmaw Goblins are still a menace uh, and, uh, and, and, uh, God, what's his name? Gundren, Gundren, Gundren Rock Seeker, uh, along with, I'm pulling up all these names, the Elven, the Elven Lady, what was her name? Sorry. Oh, what the fuck? Where is it? This is so embarrassing. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Where where did she go? <laughs> oh, she <laughs> her and Gundren. Oh, uh, Valenth, uh, Valenth, uh, Liadon, and uh, Gundren Rockseeker uh, are still imprisoned by the Kragmaws. Uh, oh, they were locations. separated uh, when yeah. got jumped. They were separated. Uh, Sildar was taken to the cave, uh, and Gundren, uh, along with Lianth, were taken uh, to the castle. Uh, specific specifically to the Kragmaw King, and uh, and yeah, so Sildar is kind of very eager to try and find this castle, uh, so to hopefully save his friends. Um, but and this is a little bit cold. More importantly, uh, Sildar needs Gundren back so that they can open uh, the mines of Fandolin once again. Uh, Gundren very excited to return back to his ancestral mines. Uh, where he was ready to activate this sort of like ancient forge within the mines themselves that's going to bring life back to Fandolin. I mean, there's nothing really going on in Fandolin right now. It's just a small little 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 miners town. But if they if Gundren can get the forge working the mines again, uh, this is going to bring life back to this city and fa and make Fandolin like it, it gonna put Fandolin on the map essentially so but there's still plenty to do uh sildar has been kind of asking around a little bit um and he would inform you that uh the lady alderleaf uh quellen alderleaf of alderleaf farms um may have some information of not necessarily where cragmaw castle is but how to find it so if you guys are interested in speaking with quellen today you are able to do so uh, if you guys would like to continue to do that. Um, but that's all the information and developments that have happened thus far before we begin your level ups. Uh, but a uh, question for the party is, um, oh, and one more thing. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place today. Hmm. Uh, there's still a variety of quests on the quest board and a new quest uh, has been brought onto the board, specifically that of Umbridge Hill. Uh, the local midwife and acolyte of uh, of uh, Chantea named uh, Adabra Gwyn lives by herself in a stone windmill on the side of the hill a few miles south of Fandolin. Her alchemical ability is well known, occasionally able to produce potions with incredible healing potential. With dragon sightings becoming more common, it's not safe for her to be alone. Urge uh, um, Adabra uh, to return to Fandolin once she's safe, visit the Townmaster Harbin Wester to claim the reward of 25 gold pieces. Uh, this is not only a good Samaritan deed to save this, this elderly woman um, in an area where dragon sightings are more common, um, but also uh, she makes potions. And no one, as a friendly reminder, uh, potions are not sold in Fandolin. 
Uh, potions are considered to be a magical delicacy, and the only two stores uh, that are selling goods currently uh, will be the uh, bah, 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 the Lion Shield Coaster, which sells mundane weapons, and of course we have Barthen's Provisions, uh, which handles all of like the mundane adventuring gear. But potions are are uh, out of his purview, so this would be an opportunity for you to potentially. Uh, gain a much needed resource uh, to be able to actually hopefully purchase healing potions before going on an adventure again. But as always, the choice is yours. So before we begin our leveling up, uh, the question I have for the party is what would you guys like to do next? And if you have any questions for oh. me, please let me know. I mean, getting the Potion Lady seems to be pretty important. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, we'll do mm -hmm. Potion Lady, I think, first, right? Because we're going to go to... We're going to do Cragmore Keep at some point soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess oh, yeah, Potion be, Lady then, then. Yeah. Well, the biggest thing with Cragmore Castle as well is you need to find where it is, because currently no one knows the location yeah. of Cragmore Castle. It would be... No, I'm just going to Google it. Go get Motherfucker, <laughs> don't do it! I'm a page to the book. Be... <laughs> It'd be go get the potion lady and then go find the lady who might have information pertaining to it. Understood. Okay, so that's um. That sounds I, like a plan to me. I think mm -hmm. that'll be the plan we we will do um next week. Uh, then for for once we we when we start the uh the campaign back up again. Um, but now that we have that established of what you guys will be doing and how uh, the the adventures will be progressing next week. It's downtime time, baby. Um, so I've got a total. Uh, I've got some uh, quest gold to give you guys uh, from three sources, actually, <laughs> that wanted the same fucking thing. Uh, so uh, Sildar uh, wanted to know where Ieno went. Uh, also wanted to stop the Red Brand Menace. Uh, you were able to knock out both. So Sildar has 300 gold pieces uh, for you guys. Uh, and then finally, Halia Thornton uh, also one of the red brands removed. Uh, and since you have successfully done that, uh, we'll give the party 100 gold pieces. And if we're nice. keeping track at home, uh, that means you all have earned a total uh, amount of 400 gold pieces. Uh, yeah, damn. That I will uh, divvy up uh, amongst you all now, since that seems to have been the... Uh, occurring theme with you guys. That's a difficult so, math, though. Yeah, yeah. The 400. Uh, <laughs> How's he going to do it? Chad, Chad, the nine. Chad, how much money do I give everyone? Someone's going to watch. Someone's going to say 69. I think they're. I think they're. Yeah, oh, 420. Okay, 420. 420. All right. Um, all right. That is divvied up. So, if we're keeping track at home. Veldrin currently has 354 gold pieces. Turg has 310 gold pieces. Tommy has 294 gold pieces. Damn. And Sylvester has 225 gold pieces. I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> You're like yeah, holding neither. all this money. Neither do I. Jeez. That's your retirement fund. <laughs> yeah, put it, put it in a 401k, baby. Uh, so... Uh, before we level up, is there any shopping anyone wants to do? Uh, I'll look at shops briefly. I mean, I don't really know what I could possibly buy. That's what I feel like, like right? Yeah, like, it's not, it's not like I can buy myself a better armor set because I'm not proficient in any of it. True. But, um, true. I'll take a look. Oh, actually, good point. True, true. All right, let me go we ahead. Could potentially buy Turg some armor. We'll start with the Lion Shield yeah. Coaster first. Kind of show you guys here if there's anything that you want to... Oh, yeah. actually, I close it. Close it right now. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. They, they I, shove us out the door. They I shove the door. it. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still stocking up. And by stocking up, I have to roll some shit. Because uh, the inventory chain changes uh, on the daily. So uh, I'm going to roll this. And then I'm going to roll this. All right. Wonderful. And then finally, do, 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 do. I think that's it for now. 
making some quick adjustments to the shop. One moment, please. Specifically, I gotta remove some of the excess shit you guys had been selling. Uh, okay. Now I can show you. Oh, wait, actually, one moment. Ooh, you don't say. All right. You're teasing us. I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, the reason why I said ooh uh, is because um, Lenine, yes. that lovely lady, uh, yes. as you're like coming into the store, she's sort of like dusting off something. And she's like blowing something off of this sheen of, of metal. And she'll turn over to you all and say, ah, just the kind of people I, I, I was looking for. Uh, you all being capable adventurers uh, probably find a, 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 a surplus of wealth uh, amongst your travels. So uh, I thought I would bring out some of the some of the old goods. Uh, and she is now selling um, a half plate of armor and full plate. Plate armor. Holy shit. That she has never been able to sell before. That Ooh. she got once a long time ago. And now that uh now that there are some some adventurers here, uh she's she's bringing it out and maybe trying to entice you all. Like, yeah, she's Ooh. gonna keep on not selling it, all right? Fucking 1500 <laughs> gold. <laughs> Go to hell. Jesus. Now, I'm just saying we could kill her. <laughs> <laughs> we Yo. take over. <laughs> no, I'm just. What are you? All right, being, um, I turn it into turn-based mode, and I start pickpocketing the merchants. Are you? Wait a minute. Are you quick saving over there? You the son of a bitch. F five. F five. F five. F five. F five. Not under my roof. Not under my roof. The half Wait. plate's not too bad. Honestly, yeah, like. Obviously, Getting one him, person couldn't buy it. I feel like it, but... Turg probably has half plate. I was able I have, to get that as Gideon. Do you? Yeah, yeah. I have. Um, I don't have half plate. I have chainmail, but I can. I can buy splint. I must say, mm. if we get him splint, his AC at least goes up by one. Mm, okay. Ooh. I could. I could afford the splint on my own. I got three hundred and ten gold. How much is it for half plate? Uh, half plate is seven fifty. And does that technically give you more AC as well? Uh, it wouldn't it's a do it for 15 me. Fifteen plus two. Hmm. He has no dexterity, so it right, wouldn't right, be right. beneficial. Oh, so there's actually... All right, got it. No point at all, then. And right. Veldrin doesn't use medium. You're rogue, so mm. we don't have <laughs> any value. <laughs> you, yeah, you, you guys, yeah. You yeah, laugh. we don't... I've already got the best armor Sylvester will probably ever have. Tommy uh, wears yeah. clothes, dude. The big thing is that half plate it weighs way less than splint. Splint is very heavy. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't have the plus two dex, though. I've got flat dex. So I would only get the 15 AC from uh, half I mean, What's your strength? I mean, not yet. You do have a uh, a fate fragment since you're leveling yeah, up Yeah, he today. also has one HP from one of his rolls. Yeah, now I got rolled HP. <laughs> <laughs> Don't uh, rub it in his face. Oh, do I need 17 strength or some shit for splint? No, you need 15 for splint. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I think splint's affordable. It's an extra one AC. Yeah, you I know? think the splint's worth it. How much does it weigh? 60 pounds. Uh, well, I'll sell my, my chamber, which weighs 55. Hell oh, yeah. Damn. And then I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I'll sell my chainmail to her if she would like to buy it. I'll be like, oh, yeah, you want to buy this? I got made this one. Well, hey, yeah, we can do that. Uh, you can do that all through the store screen, by the way. The salad, I'm, 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 I'm nice. got my eyes out. I'm waiting for your transactions. Whoa, 37 huh. gold? She's ripping me off. Is that what I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you 37 gold for that. Yeah, how about uh, 50? How about you fuck off? <laughs> oh, Damn. So lady got teeth. Oh, yeah. So, uh, okay, so you're saying 50. Do you want to do a charisma check? You know what? I do. Uh, I'll, I'll risk it uh, in case she gets angry. Let's see if I really upset this lady. F5? All right. Uh, <laughs> All right, I've saved. Here guide we go. Bring over <laughs> F9 ready to reload. Oh, well, I could give you 37 gold for that. All right, 16. What do you tell her? Ah, so this is uh, worn by a hero. You sell this one, you can put it's Turg's chainmail. That adds an extra ten percent at least, a twenty percent I'd say. Yeah, yeah, twenty. Twenty percent, you say? And wait, no. Do you have? <laughs> do you have a uh, 
do you do you have <laughs> did you actually say 20 percent I, I went with it i went with it. <laughs> uh, well <laughs> Teddy. should have done the math first <laughs> Fortunately, she's like, uh, let me get my abacus out. I don't deal <laughs> with that. So. Uh, should we just see who gets a much more percentage? Uh, let's just talk about uh, 50 gold. About that. So you'll put your name on it, is that right? Hey, hey, you come sell it. I'm a hero. Hero! Yeah, I know, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Well, you did take care of that red brand menace, but 50 gold is just preposterous. I will instead reject that and offer 40. Take it or leave it. She can handle. I'll take it. (laughs) I'm already naked, by the way. I'm taking it off. I'm on out. (laughs) You're holding it like naked out there. I I accept your offer. And then I will also give you an additional three gold pieces. You are at 350 gold. Dude, me three extra gold, dude. That's so (laughs) crazy. Beast. Yeah. Oh, I see. You've got your eyes on the splints. There you are, my dear. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can buy a bunch of pearls and shit. (laughs) So. Gemstones? You'll have to go over to the provisioning. There's nothing I can do with that rubbish. Okay. <laughs> I uh, I noticed I'm missing some some armor sets from some particular red brands. Yeah, what are you missing exactly? Nah, I don't know. My <laughs> <laughs> not you, old lady. <laughs> I'm talking to the raccoon in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's up? Uh, did you sell all that last time? Mm-mm. Uh, what we, did you, uh, what we did you got, loot? We had the initial three sets, and right. then we had two more sets. Oh, you looted more shit. There should be four short swords, because I took one of them, and then there should be five sets of studded leather armor. Didn't you sell some of that yet, uh, last week, though? I could have sworn you did. I don't believe we did. No, you didn't, because last week was just yeah, no, dungeon not delving. Mm-hmm. No, nah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, we, yeah, let me just, uh, give me a second. I don't know why that's missing. I tap the inside of my palm. <laughs> give it to me. <clears throat> Hand it over, I killed them for it. <laughs> I just, just my prize, I deserved it. All right, so how many short swords are we doing? Should be four of them. Understood. Because I kept, I kept, I kept the nicest one. And then you also had studded leather, correct? Yes, there should be. uh, Unless they were all wearing different sets, it would be five sets of studded leather. Now here's the. uh, Oh, let me check something real quick. Because you wouldn't have been able to carry all that. Oh, did we leave it in the boxes? Mm, Maybe. I don't think you did though. How do I put stuff away in the in room again? Uh, go to party storage group two and just drag drag your items in there. Just make sure you remove them from your character sheet after you've dragged them. Because all no it does worry. is copy it over there. Is all right. there can I cut 50 foot of rope in half to half the weight of it? Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. I'll allow that. Uh, yeah, you weren't. Uh, oh, oh, I know what happened now. Uh, you weren't holding on to it because it was going to over encumber you. Oh, that's right. We put in barrels. You were storing that shit because you were going to do some dungeon delving. And dungeon. Yeah, we got dis- we got distracted because we, we found forget? glass staff. <laughs> we <laughs> forgot. Staff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Oops. The whole, reasonable reason to forget. Yeah. Holy shit. Like, mm-hmm. We basically walked in. We're like, yeah, we're just going to scope it out. And then we found the boss. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh. Uh, yeah would it go, still be go. there then? Uh, yes, it would be. You would go in. You would grab uh, uh, that the, the stuff that you particularly hid, and uh, yeah, I put it in your inventory. Fantastic! I'm gonna immediately sell it to this old lady. <laughs> We're gonna help out the town by supplying with arms and armaments for a price, of course. She'll look over. Oh, I'll happily accept those. 
It'll take me weeks to get out the filth. <laughs> Thankfully, most of them we uh, we managed to wash off, but nothing wrong with cleaning them. Uh, let me uh, let me see uh, if you need me to reopen the shop. Let me know. Oh, there we go. Perfect. There you are, dear. I just came in to a little fortune. <laughs> <laughs> Much appreciated. And of course, these. <sighs> yeah, just put them back there. I don't want to touch them. <laughs> Understood. Wait. In this module, is this old lady actually the blacksmith? <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's Lenine Greywind. Give me one second. <laughs> Yeah, the buildings are owned by the line Shia. They're there, over a hundred there. They ship finished uh, goods to Fandlin, another small here. Master of Fandlin posts, a sharp tongued human woman. Uh, oh, of 35. Uh, so, uh, in this culture, I am the ripe young age of 35. You slapped an extra 50 on that. The I, furnace is really being I'm gonna be. Right. I'm going to be real. I just <laughs> looked up the name and this picture popped up and went, I guess that's Lenine. And uh, <laughs> now I'm realizing it's not, but I'm not going to fucking change who that shit. Who else here is it who they claim to be? <laughs> <laughs> I, because it was, it was like I was looking at some of, uh, you know, they were they were showing off some of the offer of the new Fandolin uh, module expansion they were doing. And they showed this picture of a of this young woman, uh, and she has a crest on her of a lion's mane. And I went, oh motherfucker, is that Lenine? Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. This does not look like a 35 year old. Yes. Yeah. What yeah, the they, fuck? Uh, that, was a, that was a fun one. Yeah. That was great. My that's so funny. Yeah, so Your I, version's I, better. I, I love the I, idea of an old lady. That's oh, yeah, no, no, no. And she's just constantly dragging things. I'm definitely going to keep her that way. But yeah, but yeah, yeah. I guess whatever wiki I got this picture from, they were like, yeah, sure, whatever. And I'm like, now that I'm reading this, I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't think they used the right picture. Yeah, whatever. I like it. I like old Lenine. <laughs> so she'll drag all the studded leather. She'll, she'll pay out. She'll say, he thank you for your business. He would definitely help her as well. Uh, because she's old and frail and he would Thank carry it into the back my 35 years in favor <laughs> has not been kind to me wow you know I'm also 35 <laughs> every time yeah oh, damn it Tommy yes you are and she gives you a coy wink that's especially slow <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Winks. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go join them at the general store. Uh, Pog. All right. So, has everyone done their business with the Lion Shield? Yep. Yeah. Then I shall present to you Barthin's Provisions, who is run by. I swear to God, if I found out Barthin's like <laughs> in his twenties, twelve years old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hello, hello. This is my mom and pop store. <laughs> Elmer, Elmer's my name. We all have grey hair. It runs in the family. <laughs> Elmer will look over at you all. <laughs> Welcome to Barthen. So good to see you again. How may I assist you? Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, one of my gems. Yes. Cool. Absolutely. I'd be happy to take that off your hands. Okay. What do you have for me? Then he pulls out a little jeweler's glass. He puts it over his eye and he has a comically huge eye. You know the scene, right? <laughs> I, I, I know it. Uh, <laughs> do we want to sell all of our gems or do we have other means for them? Like, is there like a, do you think it would be good for like, ooh. What do you have? Come get the shinies. Oh, well, we have... first of all, um, I've been a little naughty because I've been oh. I, there's a there's a thing uh, I've been doing and I haven't told you up to this point until it what? ever came up. <laughs> what? Uh, what does that mean? What does that so, mean? So, um, you know how we're weighing stuff? Uh-huh. Your, your gold also has weight. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, this is good. This is good. <laughs> Wait, How much? Let, let him finish. Let yes, him finish. yes. Your gold has all your coins have always had weight. Oh. Yeah. I, Wait, yeah, can you I see the weight anywhere? Uh it doesn't show you the weight, but your coins out. Yeah, go go ahead and work it out. Yeah, but, set your set your gold to zero. Make sure you remember your number. Watch your watch your fucking bar move. <laughs> I think I it's one pound per every hundred coins. I believe it's now. one per 50. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's one per 50. Mother of God. So what about, is that the same as silver? Uh, yeah, no. Every coin, every 50 coins is one pound. God, I've got to find a bank to do an exchange rate of silver. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can wait. Been a little stinker. Sorry about that. So, well, then uh, gems are technically probably easier as a, mm -hmm. as a currency that's, format. It, that's and that's what I was about to bring up. Um, gems uh, barely weigh anything. They will either weigh uh, nothing or they will weigh uh, a tenth of a pound. Mm. So sometimes it's better to do your business in gemstones, which is that also accepted sense. as a currency. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What about carnelians? How much do these go for? Um, if you check your inventory, it'll actually tell you. Uh, um, so if you go to edit item, it'll actually oh, tell you the okay. value. And apparently your carnelians are worth zero gold pieces. Hold on one <laughs> second. I feel like I'm going to get ripped off of those things. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think out the, for free. Oh, hold on one second. I think all the gems are saying zero, by the way. Motherfucker, what? I gave them all values. Oh, no. The, the economy is fucking crumbling, guys. It, it, I'm telling you what. We got to get our fucking <laughs> values moved over to like, Stop, half dude. rations. Move, out, move all your funds into half rations. Right? I'm going to move all my off. funds into like Bitcoin, I think. Yeah, it's <laughs> Are you, are you starting the yeah oh that's weird yeah they, coins. they all completely mm. deleted your uh all right so i'm not going to use that module Turns for loot distribution the streets, anymore dude, he's got nothing to be fair though i <laughs> probably won't sell a single thing now then out of those because yeah it's definitely just going to be extra weight yeah so let me uh give me give me a because five five car minions is worth half a pound and i've got a feeling it's probably worth more than 25 gold <laughs> Uh, yeah, give me give me one quick second. Make sure I I have everything. I, the pearl's really good too, because that's like a hundred gold pieces. The pearl we need for Tommy, because Tommy needs that to cast identify if they ever take identify. Oh yeah, I know some gems oh. are like spell components, but I haven't even like looked at my level two spells yet because we haven't really gotten there. I'll send it over to you, Tommy. 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 All right. I have updated all of your gemstones, so they should all have that. Uh, except the carnelians. Those stinky little Which carnelians. Which surely have no value. But surely, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you added weight to the malachite. Yeah, they're supposed to have weight. Son of a bitch. <laughs> all right. I can't what believe invest, you were guys. eyeing that. You were so close to looking at it. You're like, I've been, I've been eyeing my weight like super carefully because <laughs> I'm, I'm always perpetually like three pounds away. Yes, you are. Um, so uh, to answer the question for those that were interested, your carnelians are worth ten gold pieces a gemstone. Your peridots are worth fifteen gold pieces a gemstone. The pearl is worth a hundred gold pieces, and each malachite is worth fifteen ge uh, gold pieces a gemstone. Okay, yeah. And it was, what, 50 gold for a pound of, of thing? Okay. Yeah, 50, yeah, 50 so coins is one pound. The best. Yeah. This is the best way to have it. Okay. Yes. No as, you're, as, as you're, as you're uh, post, you know, kind of like getting your coins around, uh, he will look over at you and he'll say, I'll be happy to take some of that silver off your hands. Well, it's like an exchange. For, if you give me a hundred silver... I will give you ten gold pieces. Hey, I do that. Oh, and then, yeah, so he'll uh, he'll do that to you, do that for you. Oh, what a nice guy! Oh my God, cash back. short five fucking silver. This is so fucked. Hey, hey, <laughs> I'll give five silver over towards tomorrow. Oh, thank you. Oh, I was about to murder this town. <laughs> I was gonna kill everyone in here. I was this fucking close. <laughs> Oh my god, it's great. Yeah, All right. Let me do the same. Understood. Let me get you over to that then. And boom. Thank you. 
I'm a, I was a little stinker. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Oh, <laughs> I was waiting for the reveal. <laughs> it's like, so what's the deal with gemstones? So I'm like, oh, there's the reveal. I'm ready to go. Uh, any other purchases you guys would like to make over in uh, the provisions? Yeah. Looks like nah. no. <laughs> well, now. Wait, are there hygiene rules? There wouldn't be, right? <laughs> what? Yeah, like hygiene. I just saw that there's like soap. There's soap. Yeah. <laughs> there's like soap. There's like I'll, perfume. I'm gonna, be real. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be real with you. I wasn't thinking about it, but uh yeah, yeah, there's definitely gonna be some hygiene rules. There's As gonna be hygiene charisma rules. based hygiene rules. What have you amazing. fucking done? Absolutely gonna be hygiene rules. So it's <laughs> Are you slow? <laughs> As long as you, can you so, guys, I better go buy a fucking alms box, like a nice piggy bank to keep all my money in now, or else it won't be in the right money spot. I also think these guys should be taking damage so, because they haven't pooped. <laughs> this Judy's what? over here with prestidigitation, <laughs> and that's why they can fucking ask that shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If you don't tell me I'm you're defecating, I'm hey. gonna have I'm gonna have you guys yeah. roll a constitution <laughs> say, Yeah, it's fucked. No, um No, wait. As as long as you get a piss RP? Yeah. <laughs> PRP. Wait, we Is got it some finally real? time. Is it piss mechanics? Let's do it. Uh, no, well, uh, as long as you are within the town, it is mm -hmm. assumed you have uh, easily uh, access uh to uh the provisions you need to keep yourself from getting not smelly but as you are out in the wilderness for a long period of time if you do not take a bar of soap or perfume with you you may return to town with a stench uh that may cause uh charisma based dcs uh to increase until you bathe otherwise cool well tommy's gonna like feverishly buy like five bars of soap <laughs> yes <laughs> uh do they sell does he sell hammers like just uh, little hammers, uh, like little little just regular like ass hammers. A hammer. yeah. yeah. How much is a? How heavy is a hammer? <laughs> I don't like these questions. Hold on. Well, I'm just you know. I, I just want to <laughs> you know, and you just do a swinging motion, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I just uh, I want to you know. <laughs> I want them to stop seeing the light. <laughs> uh, so it's going to be three pounds per hammer. Oh, okay. Uh, does he buy arrows? Like, like, will he purchase arrows? Yeah, if I sell him arrows, will he buy arrows? I have arrows on me. Yeah, he'll buy them. He'll, he'll buy arrows. They're, those are oh, those are some provisions. You did this to yourself, Brett? What? What? Huh? So my weight's a little fucky, but I am going to buy uh, some pitons. And okay. I'm also going to buy a hammer. Okay. Because you can use them in tandem with one another to bar doorways Ooh. okay that's fancy oh, i like that i like that well, 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 I'm, I'm gonna buy some cow troughs because <laughs> they hurt people's feet <laughs> i don't know i know this is what happens happening but i like to imagine joe is like leaning back he heard this great idea he came up and he's like i i'm gonna help too by um... i need a good idea too <laughs> I'm contributing. Ooh, sorry. I thought I thought it sold just like the iron spikes. I thought it sold in packs. Uh, no, you just buy individual pitons. So hold yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yo, you guys seeing Barton over here selling vials of acid like a fucking psycho? You guys <laughs> I have considered buying those as well. I've been looking at yeah. his acid. Yeah, I uh, got that during uh, somewhat exchange for it. I haven't found a use for it. But I figured uh, someone will buy it one of these days. It's a range oh. attack because the creature treating the asset is improvised device on a hit. It does 2d6 acid damage. Um, I've got question. a fucking idea. Yeah. You go, you go. As an action, you can splash the contents on a creature. In either case, make a range. Okay, so it always treats it as an improvised attack. Yes. How about object interactions? If I didn't want to use it on a creature, but on the lock. Uh, yeah, that would that would be considered an object interaction. Yeah, we're gonna buy some acid. Okay. Yeah, it sounds good. I'm gonna buy two vials of acid. Oh my god! Oh, thank you. It was uh, so manacles. 
We could like straight up like sneak attack someone by just locking their hands together. <laughs> Clink. Yep. <laughs> Put their fucking wrists together. He counts the coin. He's like, oh. This has been a good day for for, for both. And... <laughs> a pleasure doing business with you. You're talking third person, huh? <laughs> for Barthen. Uh, are you there? Otherwise, this is fail RP, and I don't want to speak to <laughs> you right now. Technically, Sylvester used uh, transferred uh, his silver just now. So, uh, uh, okay, then uh, legally, I am. Uh, then consider me owned, <laughs> good sir. Consider me owned. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, I speak in the third person. Sometimes it raises my self esteem. No one said it. No one asked <laughs> you why you spoke in third person. You just did, I thought. <laughs> no, that wasn't my voice. <laughs> Double end, dude. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I would like to announce my retirement from Dungeons and Dragons. I got owned too hard just now. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, can I? Uh, wait, I have a shovel. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm going to go put the shovel in our stuff. I. I know I, uh, why. <laughs> why, I have so, why do I have so much stuff? <laughs> Where did this come from? You probably what bought... I, I'm i pretty sure you bought the shovel before you went to the goblin cave. Yeah, I I, I think it's been around for a while. Yeah, you bought it. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm pretty know sure, didn't we shovel? bury a goblin alive with yeah, it yeah. at one we point? We did that. Belgium it was Brian's shovel. It was oh, Brian's shovel. right. Yeah. What the hell is a steel mirror? Why would you ever need a mirror made of steel? Peek around corners, baby. Why the hell do you need a shovel? Ooh, but why Does steel? Does he sell 10-foot poles? He sells a 10-foot ladder. Uh, <laughs> no, no, you can technically mean. break into two 10-foot poles. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just... For one silver. Now you're just... Now you're thinking outside the box. That's a hack video right there. <laughs> That's an exploit. Mm. Did you set time for because a silvered mirror is very expensive in this time period slash setting. There you go. I like that as an answer. Why steel? Why not even just like I know iron or copper? Like would that, steel. Would like, that be too soft for the mirror? I don't know. I guess iron would be fine. I don't know enough about mirrors, I guess. I guess not, yeah. Alright. Any other oh, purchasing you, you guys are gonna make? Nah, I'm good. I think I'm good, honestly. Yeah, I don't buy things. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. <laughs> All right. I'm going to offload the shovel into our party storage group two. Do it. Anything you had to... Oh, let me drag out group two over here, because there is a group one room that you're also renting out. All right. To the left is uh, the room with uh, party one. <laughs> Party one stuff, and then the one over to the right is party two, you guys' uh, stuff. Ooh. Storage, 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 baby. Okay. I would say uh, if people are able, it would be nice for us to have a shovel. I can just not carry the shovel. How much does it weigh? Five pounds. I can carry it. I could wait. Oh, yeah, I could carry it, but only if I dropped the uh, uh, hundred strap me. that I still have. <laughs> give it to the old man. Give it to the old yeah. man. I'll dig my own grave. <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, buddy. You okay? I'm fine. You could, you could tell us if you're sad. I don't know what's going on. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, so for, like, exchanges of items, um... Wait, who has the shovel? I put it in... I already put in the, the loot thingy. The storage. Uh... Sylvester will take it, though. If uh, you want to move it over there, I can grab done. it and drag it. I already added it. Well, I duped it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll delete Two one of them. back breaks. God, this game is so unstable. Anyways, um... All right, so now that we've done all of that and handled the items, it's level up time! Woo woo hoo! Woo woo! Yes, dude! Yes! Let's yes. get it! All right, so before we uh, level up, I got a, another little surprise for you. Um, now that you all are level three, um, one of the hardest things about this um, module was that I was pretty much running it to a T. It was just however it was presented. Everything was good to go. But now you're level three. 
you can start to adventure a little more. You can start handling shit. Uh, but this is a hardcore game. So this is where the difficulty gets up. Um, so you may be encountering uh, different things from now on uh, as you adventure that may have not been uh, a part of this module. So I'm kind of taking a couple of liberties at this point to increase the, the difficulty a little bit uh, of this game. Um, because there are some points for those that do know the module uh, where the game kind of just phones it in with a couple of encounters. <laughs> uh, I will not be phoning it in. So I will be, uh, we will be improving upon that stuff. So yeah, there will be some slight popping off um, at this moment, just to let you guys know. That's it. That's all, right. all I want to tell you today. No, I love that for you. Awesome. <laughs> it's yeah, really, really Can't good. do that to us if we don't leave. Oh, if you just stay in town. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's absolutely true. God damn. I'll kill bulls here until I'm level 20. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let us uh let us begin uh with uh actually we're gonna start uh with uh, Sylvester, because uh he's his is going to be the quickest to level up. Mm -hmm. Uh so uh, you've been uh, awarded a fragment of fate. Uh, so the first question I have for 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 tomato is: uh, Are you spending this fragment? or Are you saving it? I'm saving it. All right. So that's one surplus fragment being saved. Uh, next up is your hit points. Uh, are you going to be rolling for your hit points average. or taking the average? Average. Yep. And then average. finally, at level three, you get to choose a uh, a boon. Uh, what boon would you like to choose from? I'm going to be ta taking Pact of the Chain. All right. And then uh, you get an extra spell slot, uh, which, oh, I see. Yes, Hold I've already taken. Yeah, I see. Whole person. Okay, I've great. I've also received <laughs> Hellish Rebuke. Oh. As a oh, hell yeah. Uh, oh, that's right. I, I forgot about that. Excellent. And with that, Sylvester was done because I knew he was going to be the fastest one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now on to the psychos. Oh, uh, but wait. Hmm? D100. There's one more thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, he lives. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he lives. Uh, what's, uh, what's the number that kills? Uh... Now, next time, it'll be one or two. Okay, so, so now, so uh. does that reset every level? Every level, so every long rest, it's the the amount it gonna keeps go building up up. until he levels again. <laughs> I really like that. That is some good old man shit. Let's fucking go. Okay, understood. Psycho. Now <laughs> we get to the other psychos of the party. Uh, Joe, uh, first off, you were uh, boarded a uh, a fragment of fate, a fate fragment. Will yep. you? Will you be spending it or will you be saving it? I'm going to be spending it on uh, trying to reroll my health. Yeah, all right. Give me a 1d10, <laughs> please. Uh, okay. Yeah, oh, I did. Yeah, ooh, not oh, too bad. Okay. Hey, okay. So you gained okay. with that five extra hit points. So now you are up to 20 hit points. Pretty big, actually. Yes. Um, and, and without even doing any of your leveling. So, but now we get to the fun part. Uh, level three, will you be rolling your hit points or taking think the five? Carefully. Oh, think Wait, the thing carefully. now, man. Uh, look, I've, 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 if I'd rolled under a five, then I might have just taken the You're going to get another you know? one. Yeah, but I'm five. it's like getting a six, you know, in a lot of ways. Uh, <laughs> If you think about it in a, in a weird way, yeah, you could, yeah. You could make a fucking. Yeah, you like you could squint take... really hard. <laughs> yeah, and you, you have know the what? Chance I got to gain ten HP right now total between both these, and you're willing to make it a possible six instead. That's wild. I have a chance of having four extra hit points, mm -hmm. and there could be a moment where I get hit, and you go, "Oh, I'm down to four HP," and then everyone goes, "Ah." <gasps> <laughs> mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Look, man. Dude. Yeah, let me take Dude. Okay, so you're, it's <laughs> the average. It's Dude. your Come on. <laughs> All right, you're if the frontline tank. I don't want to see you have one HP on your fucking hit die, dude. That's all. 
If I took the average, I'll be at 28 HP. If I don't take the average, I could be up to 34. That's a three number. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm actually with Joe on this one. I think you should roll it. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah! Yeah! You have my blessing, dude. Holy shit. He is, he is at 30 hit points. God damn. What a badass. He's Holy at 30 shit. hit points. Yes. Uh, and now he won't learn. <laughs> he won't learn true. one bit. All right. So, uh, what will you be taking for your martial archetype? I'm gonna go battle master. Cool. Nice. Nice and base. Because is there any other subclass? Uh, I was tempted by Eldritch Knight because I, I do know. have a plus two to intelligence. Yeah, I know yeah, you. You could be uh, fucking boring ooh. and do a billion damage with champion with how... F Dude, honestly, here's the thing, though. With flanking rules, champion is ridiculous, I think. It is, but I've got three... The three maneuvers I'm taking, I think are going to be really fucking good in hardcore. Yeah, I looked down... Right. I almost went champion. I was like, wait, hold on a second. I'm taking menacing attack, parry, and rally. One of them gives you guys temp HP. Uh, yeah, one of them... I can reduce damage that I take by a D8 plus my dex, which is nothing. Uh, and then the other one, I can frighten an enemy and give them disadvantage against all of us. So I feel like it's all just defensive maneuvers. Yeah. Love that. Uh, speaking of maneuvers, uh, which maneuvers are uh, mm -hmm. you going to be taking? Uh, menacing attack. Okay. Which is the frightening one. And you roll it after you hit as well, which is cool. Mm hmm. Uh, a D8 of extra damage and it can fry them. Uh, parry. Parry. And then also rally. Mmm. All right. I'll save that and make sure we add that to your character sheet later. But you are now level three. Uh, by the way, you guys are at 994 experience total. Your next level up is at 2,700 experience points. Uh, a little bit of a trip. A little Ooh, baby. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, All but right, that. So we're going back into the Red Brands hideout. <laughs> find any rats that are skulking about. Uh, I believe that wraps up for Turg, correct? What is it for Turg? Juniper. Hi. You've been awarded a fragment of fate. Will you like to expend it now or save it for later? I don't think it's going to be worth it to save it. Uh, I'm going to just try to reroll my ints again. Let's just to see what happens. Let's see what happens. Might burn it. Might not. 3d6, right. please. 3d6? You got this. You don't want me to, like, click a button or anything? Uh, I can give you a button to click if no, you No, like. it's cool. It's just whenever I, do, whenever I, like, do the button wrong, I have to redo Here. it. So I get, like, real antsy about it. We <laughs> go. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do, just because I know... People will click things. What we've what we've always done is it ha the rolls have to be done the exact way, so there's never a conflict of what actual number is rolled. Uh, but for mm -hmm. now, whatever you decide to okay, use, I, I, we'll stick okay, with. Okay, all right. I have a, like a roll three d six like loaded up. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Oh, okay, all right. Okay, so you're one more incremental <laughs> gain. <laughs> there we go. Go, little guy. Go. They naturally get a bit smarter every day. Yeah. That's fun. That's fun. Come on now. That's real fun. All Did right. Did you gain any kind of mechanical power nope. up from this one? Then nope. it's not that fun. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a little fun. I am. He, he just got like a little bit smarter. I, His brain uh, gained one more wrinkle. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, I've been keeping a record, by the way, of this ink growth. So you started with an eight. You had uh, one reroll up to a 12. And now mm -hmm. you have a second reroll that has brought you up to a 13. Yes. Huge. Pog. Mm -hmm. Would you like to roll your hit points or take Ooh. a three? Um, let's Wait see. A three would bring me up to 17. Which, I mean, but last time I rolled a six. Yes, you so did. So I think I, I can afford Yo. to take the middle tomato fucking big, do not. Big news. Yes. I was just checking something. Technically, mm. Tommy is now able to multi-class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can leave Wizard. You can no. escape. <laughs> yes, yes, you are. Uh, you are able to uh, to multi-class. Mm. Huh. Okay, very interesting. 
Um, I rolled a six last time, so I think I'm gonna take the middling route this time and take a three HP. Oh, okay. That brings you up to a 17. Yes, sir. All right, so you're taking the three. Mm Mm-hmm. Or sorry, it brings you up to an 18 because of your constitution. Oh, yeah. Okay, nice. Because you're a, a, a healthy lad. Yeah, he's got a little little spring in his step, a little kick. I don't think you... Oh, yeah, you get second level spells. That's what you get. And uh... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, other than that, it's like a pretty boring level. <laughs> well, That's... it's not because I have second level spells, but, you know. Yes, but as, as far as uh, a show goes, it's a very boring level up. No, I, I see what you're saying. Mm. Yeah. Uh, all right. I think that wraps it Onward. up for you. Mm. Yeah. Uh, crowned. You have earned a fragment of fate. Will you be expending it or saving it? Uh, ooh. See, everybody else spent theirs. I saved mine. I got uh, you saved yours. Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, 50 below, I'll spend 50 above, I'll save. Uh, okay. So, yeah, we're going to reroll my int. Let's go. Can you give me the button? Oh, yeah, I can give you the button. Sorry. I get, I just, I sometimes I just get so excited that I don't even think about it. I've given you the button. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> you can take away the button. <laughs> I was about to say, it's huh. probably it was a seven before. Mm. It's a nine now, so it's going up by two. We'll get there. <laughs> We're we getting a little smarter. <laughs> next one, next one. When I get eleven, will actually be an increase. So yeah, that, uh, uh, yes, of course. If you, uh, <clears throat> anyways, uh, <laughs> now the next question: your hit points. Uh, oh, oh, first of all, what, uh, what class are you taking? Is it you uh, might, yeah. I am going, uh, we got battle master with a bunch of, a bunch of support and we got people getting second level spells. Um, honestly, what most of what, what I've been doing mostly while everybody else was, was chatting was really comparing the, the early subclasses that you get and what you get for being level three. Yeah. And I am, I'm definitely going to stick with thief. Okay, uh, so you're, you've chosen uh, Thief. Indeed. Okay, uh, can you please roll? Uh, I'm sorry, would you like to roll a 1d8 for your hit points or take a four? Oh, there it is. The deer in the headlights. Mm-hmm. This is also what I've been <laughs> very much contemplating. Yes. Uh, Hold on. 50 below, we'll roll 50 above, we'll take average. All right, we're taking the average. All right. Leave give me, the, uh, yeah. It'll be a four plus one, so give me five. I'll have the same amount of hit points. As Tommy. <laughs> four plus one, <laughs> you're at 13. Oh my God, that's true. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I have the same fucking amount of hit points. As the wizard. As the wizard. Uh, Wait, how much health do you have? I have 18 hit points. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Sylvester's looking at you. Kind of, you're some meat on your bones. <laughs> I only have 16, but I've got that, uh. Old. I've got that old, and I've got all those temporary hit point uh, sources for myself, so I'm not mm-hmm. too spooked. And Turg, my boy, at 30 hit points. God damn. Yep. yep. Yeah, I know. What can I say? That's that's the way it should be. Absolutely. Good genes. Absolutely. And also, yes. as a drow, get a spell. For reaching level three, I get fairy fire. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, that, that's a good one. That is a really good one, actually. That's oh, a- I also get an artisan tools uh, being level three battle master. But I you, don't do know you, which you, one... I want. Oh, you choose yeah, you choose a tool proficiency. You don't just get the tools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, you yeah. get one proficient, one artisan tool. Is there any one that we would use, guys? Any artisan uh, tools that actually ever come up? I think the alch- artisan's tools that you I th- can use. I, I think doesn't set. doesn't Poisoners. the alchemist supplies? Aren't they able to make potions or something? Yes, they can make. Oh no, no. 
not so not without Xanathars they can't. Oh yeah, we're not With using Xanathars, Xanathars. You could make potions for half the cost. So you'd oh. make a healing potion for twenty five. Without it, it's fucking useless. Yeah. What about uh poisonous cast tomorrow? Yeah, that's set. what I was thinking. Right? I've never Poisoner's used poison before. That could be pretty good. You would need the about poisoner feet. 50 gold. Oh, is that is that uh, default by the kit? I thought you needed poisoner to be able to make it. I don't actually know. I've think never really done this before. Poisoner does. Yeah, work. yeah, that's it's why this that's it's been very oh. educational for me. No, so the way so you don't need poisoner. What poisoner does, and it's also Tasha's anyway. Uh, poisoner allows you so instead of taking an action to coat your weapon, it becomes a bonus action. You ignore resistances to poison. And uh, you automatically gain proficiency with the Poisoner's Kit. Wait, I believe poison the Poisoner's Kit. Off the bat, let me pull it up real quick. I'm surprised they added these tools without adding, actually adding, like, just even the most basic of... Yes! ...stuff to create <laughs> in, the three, in the three rule books. That is fascinating to me. Oh, at your discretion, the character can craft other kinds of poison. Is this uh, is this still uh, Xanathers? No, this is PHB. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Uh, so oh, okay. So there are poisons that each type of poison has its own debilitating effect. Blah blah blah. During downtimes between adventures, a character can use the crafting rules in the player's handbook to create basic poison, and the character has proficiency with the poisoner's kit. At your discretion, the character can craft other kinds of poison. Not all poison ingredients are available for purchase, and tracking down certain ingredients, blah, 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 blah. Creatures but, can instead attempt to harvest poison from poisonous creatures. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It said the crafting rules in the player's handbook? Yes. Craft can use the crafting rules in the player's handbook where <laughs> basic poison where the fuck uh, where the fuck is the crafting rules I'm, in the player's handbook I'm looking it's gonna be under some obscure thing I'm this is why they're redoing it entirely because I know I know I know this is yeah uh, I bet <laughs> it's under tools isn't it no it's not here that's so fascinating chapter eight. Oh, like time okay hold up resting Oh, you know what? I bet she's between adventures. Oh, yeah. Downtime uh, activities. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You can craft non-magical objects, including adventuring equipment and works of art. You must be proficient with the tools related to the object you're trying to create, typically artisan's tools. Uh, you might also need uh, special materials or locations necessary to create it. For example, someone proficient with Smith's tools needs a forge in order to craft a sword or suit of armor. For every day of downtime you spend crafting, you craft one or more items with a total market value not exceeding five gold pieces and you must expend Aww. raw materials worth half the total market value so i mean if you you could you could build yourself a uh some plate it's gonna take a it's while 300 days yeah it's 300 gonna be like a... days so it costs 750 gold yeah i i could just go and i could just mean your like any labor and and earn way more money in that time yes correct why do tools exist <laughs> Well, because Xanathars. I mean, <laughs> but hold up. Yeah. But, but hold up. That doesn't. Would that mean you can create potions with the alchemist kit? Non-magical. Healing potions are considered a common magic item. All right. Wait. Potions of healing are considered yep. magical. Yeah. Make like a nice a juice with the alchemist. Item. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what am I making with that? I mean, and I look at that poisons as well. Like the cheapest poison is 150 gold. So yeah. it still need. 30 days of making it and spend 75 gold just to, uh, with the supply. Fun. Fun, fun, maybe fun. I'll, maybe I'll just take a musical instrument, man. I, uh, <laughs> I, of course, will not be making any exceptions to these rules because we hardcore, baby, and I have to stick with the three books. I'm just going to take proficiency in the bagpipes and go on a day. <laughs> Understood. <Stay cool. laughs> I love that. I love that for us. Okay. I think... That covers everything with our downtime session today. Everyone's now level three. We got everything done. Right yes. No, oh, I was sorry. saying right on. Oh, I thought you said hold on. Like <laughs> you, do, <laughs> you do that every once in a while where you 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 pull Don't out. A... I heard right on. <laughs> oh, OK. All right. I heard I heard. Anyways. Uh, so, yeah, you guys ready for some 
fan art? Yeah. Uh, yes. 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 Wiggles eyebrows. Yes. It is fan art time. Yes. Yo. 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 Yush. I've been pining. Uh oh. I did not get a link. Hold on one second. I gotta find the pin. Yeah, there it is, baby. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to. Sometimes uh, Discord pins will just stop scrolling up, mm-hmm. and they'll be like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah here you are." And I'm like, "No, no, keep, <laughs> just keep going, you motherfuckers." All right, let me share screen. Let me. Or my Discord will crash. Or my Discord will crash. So sometimes that's Don't look way. at me. Don't fucking uh, okay, look at me. All right. okay? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't look at me. Don't. Okay. Don't. The moment you went quiet, I was like, I bet you fucking crashed. Yeah, Discord was like, nah, we're not. You're not sharing anything. No, I don't think so. Which means I have to go back and try the Discord jump up to pin message. Okay, there we go. Now I will share screen. Excellent. Making sure I'm on the right screen. Uh, do you see this movement? Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Then I am on the right screen. Excellent. Uh, let's begin with this young lad. Oh, cute. Ooh. Look at his muscle. <laughs> He's fucking lost it. Oh, oh, bo- oh wait, god damn it. <laughs> Aww. Oh, it's fucked up, man. Oh man. Hate to see it. The Hate brothers. See it. <gasps> this is if everyone were kit I were cats. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh yes! Love it. That's awesome. so cute. <laughs> great choice. The Siamese, fantastic choice. Yeah. Whoosh. Whoosh. <laughs> Still waiting for that fireball whoosh that's going to happen. That's yeah, gonna yeah I'm really hanging on to it, all right? Ooh. We just got it. You got to give me a shit. chance. Ooh, Damn. Protagonist, man. Damn. That's a handsome man. So this is when everyone was trying to figure out what Tomato's tiefling was going to be. Oh hey, yeah. Spot on. That's yeah, that's him, that's him at age yeah. twenty five. <laughs> yeah, that's about right, I think. I think we I think we became pretty close to that. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, next. Ah, damn it. Jump to this. Do, 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 do. Ah, here we are. Oh. This is oh, a it, This is the the bakery ending. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> when everyone survived. Aww. <laughs> yes. He's so cool. <laughs> He's so cool. He is fucking cool, though. <laughs> oh my god, it's me. Gator Beam. Uh, Gator Beam. <laughs> I like this one. I like the one that's this chat. That's me. That is absolutely me. <laughs> and here's me on a Florida horse. Very cool. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Nice. Very cool. God, look at this lad. <laughs> oh, I love Marcos. her. He's like peak character design, honestly. Like, <laughs> you just, like you really tapped into something. Thanks, bud. Uh, what could have been. So this is what people thought your warlock was going to be, Tomato. You were going <laughs> to come in with the Minecraft voice. Yep. And uh, yeah, that's what you were going to do. What's uh, What's the Minecraft voice? You'll find out at some point. You'll, you'll, oh, <laughs> you'll, 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 you'll <laughs> I love that. Oh, can't even begin. Oh, Look at that. Wow. Wow. That's I love so how Tommy's <laughs> so like know, shocked or in awe in every one of these. <laughs> he shall remain undented. Oh. God damn. He wishes he had the armor. Ooh. Ooh. This could have been that could have been uh tomatoes tiefling. I'm glad that no one got even close. <laughs> no one. <laughs> what I did. No one. They didn't go cursed enough. They got to think in your mind. 
Oh, nice. Is this all Hero Forge stuff? That's sick. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's good. It's good Hero Forge stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Does he wear eyeshadow? Uh. Don't, don't answer that. Never mind. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Oh, I had a roll uh, for it. Oh my god, look sick. at this. Oh, yeah. Dude, I love seeing the design like that. It's so cool. God, they made him so handsome. Jesus. He was handsome. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, he was. And then he was, he was dented. Brother. Tommy. Jesus. Damn. <laughs> oh, yo. Cool. That's a murderer. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I love this uh, this coloring. The <laughs> leg. Uh, trying to get You're you. Aiming a little high, Tommy. <laughs> I love the idea that he just keeps hitting people in the throat every time. But he's like, Oh yeah, I'm aiming for the legs, at least. <laughs> <laughs> My God, there's so much blood. Oh, mischievous. Oh, cute. What's he thinking about? <laughs> Murder. <laughs> oh yo look at sick love the love That's the sword it. design all right so here was uh another idea of what would <laughs> um, <laughs> actually oh uh, yes i love that one though that is a great <laughs> secondary backup <laughs> wow that guy we would have left to get mugged <laughs> by the red brands here we go <laughs> <laughs> yep yep <laughs> I fucking love the little old man. Oh my god. <laughs> He's like trembling like a little chihuahua. <laughs> and then Bird, oh. who actually made the art uh, <laughs> of Sylvester. Yep. There it is. Oh. I love him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh goodness. Uh, <laughs> oh, <no>. so <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh shit. You know my grandson. <laughs> oh God, I love this uh, this 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 cursed Tommy arc. God, that scar is gnarly. It's like it was faded, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so <more> <laughs> <or something. laughs> is that my son, Steve? <laughs> Oh. Oh. Are you questing? <laughs> so you buddy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I can't accept that. God, look at him. Majestic. <laughs> oh yeah, my God. He's old. <laughs> oh, Little this... wings. Oh, this is when I uh, accidentally delivered you code and not an oh. item. <laughs> You gave me the red brands plus to hit, yeah. and I went, what is this? <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> uh, I forgot. <laughs> but then I, I remember. Man. Oh, uh, man. Yeah. Don't worry. We still got Brian. Oh, <laughs> the lad. <laughs> oh, the Simpson style. It's so mm -hmm. good. This is good. I think we need some sand. Aww, <laughs> it worked last time. I am the sand. <laughs> oh my god. My god, there's a lot of uh, death fan art. Rook <laughs> 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 Oh, oh lord. He's just a little guy. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Little, little Howie from Curious Curios, who is our resident old. <laughs> oh. 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 Wait a minute. A <laughs> uh, little, uh, little kissy uh, from, what was it? What, what's their name again? The other character? That's Gabriel. Gabriel. Yeah. Very cute. Oh my god, sink pisser. Uh, this piece is labeled <laughs> Base Water. Base Tub Shitter is the, the name yeah. of this piece. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> uh, so good. God. <laughs> I'm having deja vu. 
think. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Splat. Dude, he really likes falling off of, like, high places now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, Didn't you have, like, three hit points left after that, too? Yeah. yeah. Like, almost died. They put yeah. me in D&D, &D, Goku. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, man. God, imagine if Sylvester is just like a filthy pervert too. Like that would, that would just be the Stop. worst. Oh no. <laughs> Stop. Oh. What the fuck? Ooh, is that Arms of Hadar? Yeah. Nice. That's Holy sick. shit. Oh fuck. Sick. <laughs> That's actually menacing much. though. Holy shit, oh. he's old. <laughs> it's so old. Uh, does he actually have spectacles on? He does have spectacles on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Everybody immediately gets stressed. Also from Curious Curios, we got QB. <laughs> oh my god. Wanna kill some small <laughs> no! animals? Oh no! <laughs> 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 Her uh, lifeless eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> this the is eyes, horrifying. I hate the fucking Jesus. eyes. <laughs> Jeez, he's so strong. Look at that lad. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> so you're cold. <laughs> oh, Tommy. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. The boy. May I tag along? So cute. So All good. Right. All right, we got this cool video here. I, uh, I, I, I was told that it, there is uh, copyright music playing, so I can't play it on stream. But I checked it out. It was re it was a cool animatic of the uh, Tommy's escape. So please go to the fan art section and check it out. Um, it's literally called Lost Minds of Fan Delver D and D animatic. And, I would uh, love to. Yeah, check, be sure to check it out. Unfortunately, we can't play it on stream, but it's badass. Oh my god, an actual Veldrin fan art. My best friend was a gnome. <laughs> yeah, he said yeah, that. Gideon breaking all of the molds. By the way, I fucking hate gnomes it's true i hate them with my whole body but gideon damn. i love gideon damn dude what the damn. hell oh. <laughs> what did they do <laughs> yeah, that's all it's a huge tirade i won't go into it i hate them i love gideon though mad respect wait like you personally yep. like hate gnomes I, <laughs> that's fascinating I physically hate them <laughs> <laughs> the you hate more like the gnome trope the where yeah, uh, they no, all have like, to be I, like smart assholes. Yeah. I love this Firth Neblin. Like deep gnomes, cool. Yeah. Awesome. You're a you're a technologically smart. My whole my giga brain is what keeps me alive despite being three foot four. I put you in the ground <laughs> underneath my heel. Drop kick you. <laughs> <laughs> but not Gideon. No, never Gideon. Gideon was my homie. Uh we got a couple videos to show you guys. Oh. Fights Krog. Uh, it is I, Gideon. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I've never had a dent. <laughs> My boy. Fuck. Why? What and the fuck? It's all Cookie's fault. They should have healed me for more. Yeah, I would have taken that hit instead, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, look at this guy. Yo. I oh. love the prosthetic. That's huge. <laughs> Little killer. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> What do we do with the baby? <laughs> yeah. I... Why does more and more of Tommy's Fucking face get face peeled away? Ass. This is this is the most accurate uh, Turg fan art. <laughs> Holy shit! 
<laughs> I love it, Steven. His oh. robe is so big. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Velcro. <laughs> Totally fine with him calling me back. It's all right, old man. We'll we'll get you somewhere safe. Look at that little guy. Look, Look at that little arsonist. <laughs> De <laughs> Death is more moments away. <laughs> Why is his head so big? <laughs> Uh, and I can't no, I'm gonna go kill the runner. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, the encounter's over. No. No. Never. <laughs> Bobby, wait! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and then Turg flanked a poor bandit. Jesus. <laughs> Damn. That's sick as fuck. Uh, this is the most Tommy fan art to have ever Tommied. <laughs> oh God! Ah, the little boys. Look at these. Look at these guys. Oh, cute. We're like a weird version of like a Christmas Carol. Oh my God! I love them. <laughs> look at them. Look at those little guys. Party leader. Oh fuck! <laughs> Wait. So um. Sink Pisser uh, has an idea of what Steven could be. Uh, tomato, how we, how close are we on this one? Oh, <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> is, this, is that really your is, boy? Is that There's your no boy? telling. Now, it'd be, it'd be spoiling it to let you guys know who or what Jesus. Steven is. I mean, huh. it looks like Tommy. Why is he built like a Does fucking it? fridge? <laughs> this guy, this guy works a nine to five. This that's one's a company a, man, right here. Tommy looking at that's a he's a that's a company no, man. If I've ever seen I hope I hope Tommy's I'm actually. Throw hands. I hope Tommy's actually just in disguise self and only <laughs> <laughs> only Travessa can see this party picture. Oh my god! Love Look at it. That little party. <laughs> I love I love Tommy. Look at Tommy looks so fucking cute so in that good. piece. He's a little deputy. Look at that little star. A little deputy. He's just a just a little murderer. <laughs> no. Nice. no. Oh, the bandits Come in the background. Oh, the bandits were just Fuck. looking through the door is amazing. <laughs> God, I hate that I can hear Awful. the music. This is rancid. Oh. I hate this. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, someone made a cool little badge of uh, the freelancer operations and Fandolin. That's cool. Mm. Yo, <laughs> Cannon. By I the way, I wear that now. <laughs> I yield. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh no! Make sure to hydrate. <laughs> <laughs> Grab my dog. <laughs> Oh, that's your, <laughs> wow, that's your first fan art piece uh, on the server. Thank you so much. Nice. Good shit. Uh, this is if uh, we turn him into a sniper. Mm -hmm. What is he feeding him? Wow. That was uh, wow. some kind of like raisins or something. <laughs> wow. Cute. I like that his ears wiggle. Tommy sees the world in that's cuphead so vision. cute. <laughs> oh, buddy! Oh my God, he's he's always in a better place in his own head. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> language. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about topics. <laughs> What the fuck, dude? <laughs> oh. Badass. God damn. <laughs> Yo. When you show the adventurers your enchanted sword. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Nice. Oh my god. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. 
so I uh, I changed the dice uh, the the dice rolling rule because uh, this fan art made me feel bad. Amazing. <laughs> You did uh, shift click. <laughs> Cut point. Seven, nine. <laughs> God damn. Casually explaining the smell of decaying flesh. Oh God, that's our little baker. Yep. Skip the entire dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would surrender if I saw that walk out of my yeah. wall. I know stone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, look at this party. Oh, oh I man. love it. I love it. Cute. That is wonderful. Why was your guy so wet? Was he just sweating the whole time? Was sweating? Sweating? Yeah, he was sweaty. Was just, he just, just like sweat. killed a guy. I just or didn't, didn't know if there was something like. <laughs> no, he stuff. was just fucking sweaty he was just <laughs> <laughs> he was a nervous wreck hey this guy knows stone amazing that's so good <laughs> it was him <laughs> my lover <laughs> it's so foul yeah <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Little rush, quick doodle of Tommy, the lad, the boy. <laughs> strip of bacon hanging over his face. <laughs> oh my, oh my God. Jesus. <laughs> Holy shit. Why is it so ominous? All right. Uh, oh, this no. is Sink P Pisser is uh, oh, no. posing this oh, question. No. Oh, Christ. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't do me. it. No, oh. no, don't fucking do it. Sink Pisser, please. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, I hate that. I hate it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I hate him throw him back in the water. Yeah. Can we have a, a potential, like, on that injury list, one of them is. You all just the lose all your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my god. Oh god. He needs a moment. Mm. It's a mm. bridge that was the about abyss. that if you stepped on would have collapsed and fucked Tommy up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, th I yeah. think there was a little instinctual part of his brain that knew. That's why you had to make the wisdom save. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Colourless. <Kalulis. laughs> mm, I fucking love memes like this. So good. Uh, <laughs> yes. Ah. Ah. Birthday art for the Rack DM. Thank you. Wow. Oh my god, he's 55 years old. This guy knows stone. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, the lag. Oh my god. god. Damn. Jesus. Damn. Damn. What a handsome what man. What the hell? Is that That's birthday cool. fan art of me? Thanks, guys. <laughs> he's just a little. He's just Look a at little, his big, wet eyes. He's just a little Shut guy. <laughs> That's, you know, when I was younger, that's me. And then when I'm older, that's me too, because I, I don't remember what happened yesterday. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, cake. Anyways. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> it's the boy. That's so horrifying. <laughs> What's up with this dude? Oh, yo. yo. Brad. That's cool as fuck. He's scary. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in that head. Ooh, we we also it. just brought along an old man who's just yeah. looking for his grandson. Yeah, it's like, very morally questionable. Uh, he's definitely it's like, like man. made a contract with something at some point. Is mm -hmm. lethal. He, he, yeah, he yeah. kills. He kills, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is good. We have a uh, animation. Oh. Ooh. I'm going to sit over the cistern and I'm going to take a dump of oh. fresh water. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Uh, anyone that would be <laughs> watching uh, Turg right now, <laughs> making a big old Turg. Going to turn to Turg. <laughs> right? I want you 
to take that bucket and scoop out your excrement because there's something down there in the water. No. <laughs> Did you just say no? I I was <laughs> my pilot and I have to take it. <laughs> <laughs> then go get it. <laughs> I'm not going in there. I'm not just going to go in there. <laughs> That's so good. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Did you just say no? <laughs> yeah, like I wouldn't expect him to just refuse. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god. Damn. All right. So many like gorgeous pieces of Veldrin. Mm hmm. It's because Veldrin's a gorgeous piece. Nice. Talking with the <laughs> raccoon in the court. <laughs> you should not be seeing me. <laughs> Are you quick saving? <laughs> oh my god. This guy? This guy knows stone. Oh yeah, he does. Damn, he knows stone. I know stone. We're 35. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh, nice. he's, he's not so cute. What the he's, fuck? Oh, I love it. <laughs> Little mouth. <Mal. laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? <laughs> Damn, looking good. Everybody gives him jacked legs. Yeah. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Devil owned the DM. <laughs> all right, guys. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> I love the arm shaking. Damn. Yes. Jesus. Damn. You know it. That's a stiff boy. Getting smarter <laughs> every day, baby. <laughs> Stop, guys. Stop. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to make him Jack Horner. <laughs> I don't Tommy. think he can ever become Jack Horner. No, he's oh. like too. Holy shit. He's like too good. Perhaps. Hey, look at these guys. Too good. <laughs> oh, fuck. We both have 18 hit points. That's so cool. Oh, yeah. You have a D6 hit dice and I have a D8. Woo. <laughs> Dude, cool. you, are you mad? Hey, are you mad? <laughs> nope, I'm fine. Are you okay? I'm you mad? Oh, quite all right. I'm mad. <laughs> okay, so we're just scouting. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> all right. Well, that is all of our fan art. Thank you guys oh, so shit. much for participating in the downtime session. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. And uh, next week, uh, we're going to go save an old lady, get some potions, and uh, try and figure out just where the heck Cragmaw Castle is. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Thanks for running. Oh, yes. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Catch you all bye -bye. next time. Bye.